Hello and welcome back to another video. So I'll give you one guess at what I'm doing today. Um, yeah, it is fertilizer time on the silage ground. So we had a beautiful morning here when I got up, but of course, by the time I had fed the cows and come down and put the spreader on, the rain is here. So I'm just parked inside so that the spreader doesn't get wet and it doesn't clog at the bottom. I've learned from past experiences. So you'll see here, I've 1.5 tons here of protected urea. We've gone for the big bags this time, just because it is the silage ground, so we will be spreading quite a bit. We're not gonna spread the whole 1.5 tons today. There's 375 kg in each of the bags. So I'll probably end up spreading three bags, but that will include the silage ground and some of the grazing ground as well that we didn't get done before. Now, will I be able to travel the ground? Who knows, um, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, geez, that's a, that's a heavy shower there now. That was not forecast. Um, but look, I, I'm gonna go anyway. Hopefully it is just a shower and it'll brighten up after it again. We've had maybe three days of okay weather, showers, uh, but not persistent rain. So I'm just hoping that I will be able to, to get it out and get it done. Only thing is I will have to add extra weight to the 135 because of the amount I'm putting into the spreader. Um, so of course that only adds to my problem, but sure look, we'll see how we go. So I'm gonna wait for this shower to pass. I'm gonna get my weight box on while I'm waiting for that. And I need to go up and get my GPS from home and I'll talk you through what we're putting out, how much I'm putting out, all that. So it was around this point that we realized we had a fairly big problem on our hands in that the spreader does not in fact take 375 kg of fertilizer. Uh, we thought it would take it no bother, um, but that was not to be. So here we are frantically trying to spread it out so that it doesn't overflow. Uh, but then I had no other choice but to go away and get some empty feed bags and just start taking it out with a pot. So I proceeded to do that for probably 20 minutes, half filled, probably six or seven feed bags of fertilizer. So not ideal. In hindsight, we would not have cut the bag at the bottom, but sure, you live and you learn. So the fertilizer made it up to the fields in one piece anyway and then it was just a case of spreading 80 units to the acre so as i mentioned it is protected urea all the silage fields got slurried already the vast majority of it was done the very end of january so well washed in at this stage this video is probably 10 days ago at this stage if not a little bit longer so we will be able to cut the end of May, weather permitting, which is exactly what we wanted to do, um, just like last year. So there I am tipping away before I headed down for 
a refill and uh, you'll see in a minute that we did learn from our mistakes um, on filling the spreader this time. That's the best one yet anyway. Um, ignore the fact that I forgot to turn it on at the start, <laughs> but it's grand. Uh, it was only up one side and just down a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, that's definitely my best go at getting it quite good with the GPS now, so I'm happy with that. The overlap there on the bottom, that's because it's not a square field, so I would be in the ditch if I didn't overlap a bit, and I just wanted to cover the whole field. So yeah, really happy with that now, and uh, yeah, did the job in fairness. that's all the fertilizer out now I got all the silage ground done and pretty much most of the grazing ground or at least stuff that needed to be done that I didn't get done earlier in the year and um, so it's great damage wise not too bad but there are puddles in fields that I have never seen before it's it's mad um, a little bit of damage at gaps and things like that but overall it was very good in fairness I'm happy out obviously I didn't spread on the grazing ground uh, 80 units to the acre so uh, I did about half that so we should get some grass growing and the grass has definitely picked up um, over the past even week or two so we'll just push it on another bit now um but that's the fertilizer anyway rob is just down here now as well so we're going to tackle the pens we're going to do a rejig of all the cows and i'll tell you why once we've it done because i just want to get it done at this stage
Now my battery actually died yesterday, so I'm down here the following day. I have done very little today because I was working, so it was just a case of come down, feed them and give them some fresh straw. But anyway, we have everybody in the pens that they are supposed to be in, although it took a bit of battling with the calves, all right, they got there in the end. So I've kept the two girls together, Snowflake and Norma, with their calves because they've been getting on great. The first time calver is in the smaller pen with her calf. He's just lying down there now. He is a handsome little man. And then I have Michelle in with Little Red. Not the ideal setup because Little Red is due tomorrow. She has had difficulty calving in the past, although last year she was absolutely grand, but she was out in the field. Ideally, we'd have her out in the field again, but it's not to be this year and we can't do much about it. So look, we'll just have to keep an eye there just to make sure Michelle isn't putting her off or interfering or anything when she does start to calve. And if we have to, we'll make some changes. Uh, but look, for now, hopefully it will be okay. Once we have Little Red calved, we'll be able to relax somewhat um, because she is always the worry for us, to be honest. Um, but everybody is flying at all the calves are in great form. I'd say they will be delighted to get outside because they just want to be running around the shed all day. So I'd love to see them out just for them. Big Black is on her own. Debbie has gone down to Big Red um, because we're going to be saying goodbye to Big Black. So 10 years here on the farm and it's time for her to go all 900 odd kg of her. So yeah, it's a sad day, but it's time for her to go. Um, she's had a good life. She's been well looked after here. So uh, I'll let you know how, how she does, but she'll be gone tomorrow by the time I come down here after work. So that's her done. Very quickly before I go, I've been getting a few comments lately um, from fellas telling me I'm talking too much on the videos and show more farming and less talking. Um, obviously it is the minority, but I'd like to get a feel for what people like to watch. I am not into machinery and things like that. I prefer to watch kind of videos explaining things, obviously because I'm learning to farm, I suppose, or still trying to pick up tips and stuff. But if that is not what people are interested in, do let me know. Obviously, I get a load of really, really nice comments, thankfully, on uh, all my videos. But if people want to see more of the kind of in-action shots, just let me know. I tend to speed those up because I wouldn't be massively interested in them. So that's how I'm creating my videos, I suppose. But if anybody would like to see a bit more of that, um, and me to slow it down a little bit or show a little bit more of it, do let me know in the comments. If nobody comments anything, I'll just keep going as I'm going and um, yeah, leave it at that. But that is me done for the day. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, thanks a million for watching. If you liked it, give me a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you.